This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Nixie's phone dinged, and she tried to read it around the edge of the peacock's feathers. It's Euphemia. Everything okay? It's fine, I'm sure. Some of the undines I met in Atlantis have surfaced close to Ireland. Peacefully? Nixie laughed. Yes, yes. I guess I didn't tell you everything about Atlantis. They only wish to live in their homes in peace. Word must have reached them about Nud's fall. Why would you think they would not visit in peace? Well, you told me you had to fight to the death when you visited Atlantis. Touché. I'll have to take you there one day. To Atlantis? Yes, it's quite remarkable what they've done to the city. I leaned back and glanced at Nixie behind the feathers. On the bottom of the ocean. I can see a few transportation issues with that trip. Not if I drown you first, Nixie said with a brilliant smile. I met her gaze for a second as I guided the car through the next intersection. You can drown me when I'm already dying, and not a moment before. Nixie pouted in the passenger seat. You realize how long that could take now. You ate like a million souls and might outlive the planet at this point. I raised an eyebrow. Unless something from the abyss eats you. That could certainly shorten your lifespan a bit, but I just don't know if gathering up the pieces and dropping them in a bucket will have the same satisfaction. Apparently satisfied with the growing horror on my face, Nixie exploded into laughter, to which Nugget bleated out another honk, before thankfully moving to the back and settling down. I glanced at the bird in the rearview mirror. Threats of dismemberment and drowning seem to have calmed him down quite a bit, do you think the Cusis will try to eat him? That would be so tragic. Nixie snorted when Nugget unleashed a particularly hostile honk. I don't think we have to worry about that. Nagma wouldn't send a peacock if she thought it would be in danger. Have I met Nagma? Not that I know of. She stays close to Sri Lanka for most of the year. You may have seen her in fairy at the royal court, but I do not believe you met her. How's Euphemia doing? From what I can tell, she's holding up well in my place. Euphemia is trying to bring the blue men of the Minch into talks with some of Luena's undines. I wish her luck with that. One side is as bullheaded as the other. She would make a good queen, should something happen to me. I turned at the next intersection as Old Town St. Charles came into view. Why would you say that? Nixie hesitated. What? What is it? I think you can tell me if we can sincerely joke about getting dismembered. Nixie let out a low laugh. You're right, of course. There are things that will happen as long as I am queen. Things I have no wish to burden you with, Damien. Pretty sure I have more baggage than you. Did you see that thing I was trapped in? I mean, damn. That was one replay I didn't need to see. Nixie reached out and squeezed my leg. I know why Nagma gifted me a peacock. Word is spreading about Atlantis, and it will open old wounds amongst the Undines. She fears I will be assassinated.